tonight with an update about a story we first brought you last night on News Channel 9 and 11. We now know there is indeed a connection between an arson investigation and the SWAT callout in East Chattanooga last night. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now with the latest developments on this story. Good evening, Alyssa. Good evening, Natalie. Dave, when firefighters got to the home on the 1800 block of Newell Avenue, they found smoke coming from the house. A few blocks down the road, police were actually trying to coax a woman out of her car for more than an hour. Little did everyone know at the time the two incidents are connected. Crime scene tape surrounds this home on 1800 Newell Avenue. When firefighters got here around 5 Saturday night, they realized this fire was no accident. Fire officials say it was intentionally set with multiple points of origin. Neighbor Cedric Drew came home to the disturbance. So we parked the car right there, got the groceries out, kind of waited till the commotion died. Then I asked one of the guys that was keen to the owner of the house, and we was told that the, uh, the house was deliberately set. Just a few blocks down the road on Sitico Avenue, police were dealing with their own situation. A woman refusing to get out of a red Hummer. Basically, we received a call of a, uh, a disorder earlier uh, on another in another part of the area here. Uh, the, the suspect was having a mental crisis, uh, mental uh, issues. Uh, okay. For a short time, we had the party was in, locked herself in her car. Police called in the SWAT team and hostage negotiators. They were able to talk her out of her car a short time later. That woman owns the now charred home on Newell Avenue. Crews are now trying to figure out if she set the blaze. One neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but tells us he was standing outside with a friend when he saw the woman pull into the driveway and go into the home. After a few minutes, the man says she got into her car and drove away. It only took a few seconds until he saw smoke and called 911. Other neighbors say they never saw the woman act unusual. She was pretty quiet. You know, she didn't cause no problems, so there was no there was no reason to think she would, you know, do something like that. Chattanooga Fire Chief Randy Parker says as of today, they still haven't been able to interview the homeowner about what happened. Neighbors said she didn't actually live in the home on Newell Avenue, but instead live with relatives nearby. Of course, you could depend on us to bring you the latest developments. Dave. Alyssa Sperato reporting. Thanks.